Welcome to a world of mind-blowing discoveries and awe-inspiring cosmic wonders. As we embark on a journey to uncover the truth behind some of the most enigmatic and perplexing phenomena occurring beyond our own little blue planet. The question of extraterrestrial life has captivated humanity for centuries, and now, with cutting-edge technology and the relentless pursuit of knowledge by space agencies like NASA, the European Space Agency, and others, we are closer than ever to finding answers. Prepare to be astounded as we dive into the incredible and bizarre happenings in the cosmos, captured by none other than the revolutionary James Webb Space Telescope. This game-changing instrument is set to shatter our understanding of the universe and with each new image, the lines between science fiction and reality blur just a little more. Number 1. Abel 1689, A Glimpse into Dark Matter The NASA ESA James Webb Space Telescope provides a stunning view of the massive galaxy cluster Abel 1689, which contains a billion galaxies and a trillion stars. This cluster is a prime example of the distribution of dark matter, an invisible substance that accounts for most of the universe's mass. While the Webb telescope cannot directly observe dark matter, astronomers have identified its presence through the study of gravitational lensing. Gravitational lensing occurs when the light from galaxies behind Abel 1689 bends as it passes through intervening matter within the cluster. To understand the distribution and mass of dark matter in the cluster, Scientists examined the observed positions of 135 lensed images of 42 background galaxies. They then created a map with blue-toned areas, indicating the assumed prevalence of dark matter. The lensing distortions would be much less pronounced if the cluster's gravity were solely due to visible galaxies. The map reveals the highest concentration of dark matter at the center of the cluster. Abel 1689 is estimated to be approximately 2.2 billion light-years away from Earth. Number 2. Mysterious Mass Map CL0024 plus 17 is a galaxy cluster located in the Pisces constellation, about 4 billion light-years away. Astronomers study CL0024 plus 17 to better understand the distribution of dark matter in the universe. Non-cluster galaxies appearing as blue smears near the image's center are located at a great distance. The stretched and twisted light from these distant galaxies can be explained by gravitational lensing caused by the strong gravity of CL0024 plus 17. Dark matter neither emits nor reflects light, rendering it invisible to the naked eye. Astronomers rely on the effect of gravity on light to detect it. By mapping the gravitationally distorted light, researchers can trace the distribution of dark matter in the cluster. In doing so, they have discovered a dark matter ring around the cluster's core, although this finding has been disputed by other independent studies. This potential discovery of the ring stands as one of the most persuasive pieces of evidence supporting the existence of dark matter. Number 3. Dawn of the Milky Way Approximately 12.7 billion years ago, our Milky Way galaxy was in its infancy. At that time, the sky was dominated by globular star clusters rather than the grand spiral arms we see today. The blue star cluster in the upper left is one of hundreds of primordial globular clusters that eventually merged to form our galaxy. This cluster can still be observed in the Scorpius constellation as the globular cluster M4. Astronomers utilized the Webb telescope to identify the cluster's oldest, faintest remnant stars, known as white dwarfs. The temperature of these dwarfs helps determine the age of the cluster. This artwork depicts the cluster as being full of young blue-white stars, likely forming around 100 million years after the Big Bang. The nascent core of the galaxy can be seen to the right of the center, where a newborn supermassive black hole is surrounded by dark dust lanes. The young black hole is consuming stars, gas, and dust while emitting a powerful jet of material through space. Pink bubbles of hot gas form around each star cluster as a result of supernova explosions from the most massive stars in the cluster. Number 4. A Cosmic Duo The NASA ESA James Webb Space Telescope captured this image of the spiral galaxy NGC 1317, located in the constellation Fornax and over 50 million light-years away from Earth. NGC 1317 is part of a binary system along with NGC 1316. However, the larger and more tumultuous NGC 1316 is not visible within the range of Webb's telescope. In this image, NGC 1317 is accompanied by two objects from vastly different regions of the universe, despite the absence of its neighboring galaxy. 
The bright point surrounded by diffraction spikes is a star within our own galaxy, while the redder, elongated smear represents a distant galaxy far beyond NGC 1317. Number 5. Enigmatic Dark Rays Sunsets offer some of the most stunning views of the sky as the sun's rays filter through clouds, creating a beautiful mosaic of light and shadow resulting from atmospheric scattering and cloud shadows. A new image from the NASA ESA Webb Space Telescope evokes a similar sensation as astronomers observe the nearby galaxy IC 5063. In this case, narrow bright rays and dark shadows stretch out over at least 36,000 light-years from the intensely luminous center of the active galaxy. Researchers have traced the rays back to the galaxy's core, where a supermassive black hole is actively feeding. As the black hole consumes matter, the surrounding superheated gas erupts in a dazzling display of light. Experts have proposed multiple explanations for the phenomenon, with the most captivating suggestion being that the shadows are cast into space by a torus of dusty debris encircling the black hole. Number 6. Turquoise-tinged plumes In this mesmerizing image, aquatic currents and wispy threads extend from the bright plumes, creating the illusion of an underwater landscape. The photograph showcases the outer reaches of the Tarantula Nebula, situated within the Large Magellanic Cloud. However, this is not an actual ocean. The image captures a portion of the Large Magellanic Cloud, LMC, a neighboring dwarf galaxy that orbits the Milky Way. The LMC appears as a fuzzy blob to the naked eye, but this captivating photograph reveals the beauty hidden within its turquoise-tinged plumes. Number 7. Pillars of Creation The mid-infrared Pillars of Creation image captured by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope is haunting. This region showcases the birth and death of thousands of stars amidst a sea of gas and dust. Webb's mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, focuses on detecting dust, which is crucial for star formation. The massive blue-gray pillars in the image are the birthplace of numerous stars. Dense knots of gas and dust within these regions collapse under their own gravitational attraction, heat up, and give rise to new stars. The image reveals two types of stars. Those within the thick, dusty pillars have recently disrupted their surroundings, and their dusty atmospheres lend them a reddish hue. The older blue stars have lost most of their gas and material, making them appear blue. While stars are present in the image, they emit little mid-infrared light, and are better detected using UV, visible, and near-infrared light. Number 8. Tarantula Nebula the Tarantula Nebula's star-forming region is brilliantly illuminated by Webb's near-infrared camera in this 340 light-year mosaic image, unveiling tens of thousands of previously unseen newborn stars. The most active region features pale blue massive young stars, while the red stars remain embedded in the nebula's dust. NIRCAM's exceptional near-infrared resolution enables it to detect these dust-enshrouded stars. An older star near a cluster of young stars in the nebula's cavity displays eight diffraction spikes in NIRCAM's image. The top central spike of this star almost points towards a cloud bubble, which is being blown by young stars surrounded by dust to create their own cavity. Astronomers have analyzed this location using two of Webb's spectrographs to determine the chemical composition of the star and gas. The spectral data helps astronomers deduce the nebula's age and the number of generations of star formation it has undergone. Farther from the hot newborn stars, the cooler gas in the nebula turns rusty due to its richness in complex hydrocarbons. This dense gas will eventually give rise to new stars. Gas and dust from the winds of giant stars will accumulate and, under gravity, form new stars. Number 9. Multi-Wavelength View of NGC 1300 this image of the spiral galaxy, NGC 1300, combines multiple observations to showcase its star populations and gas. The image highlights the frigid molecular gas clouds that serve as the birthplace of stars, visible in yellow through radio light captured by the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, ALMA. Number 10, NGC 346. This image of NGC 346 was captured by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope's near-infrared camera. Located 200,000 light-years away, NGC 346 is a young star cluster within a nebula. Webb's image reveals a more extensive supply of building blocks than previously thought, including clouds rich in dust and hydrogen that can be used not only to create stars, but also planets. The gaseous plumes and arcs in the image contain both molecular and atomic hydrogen. 
The pink gas represents energetic hydrogen, which can reach temperatures of up to 18,000 degrees Fahrenheit, while the orange gas represents dense molecular hydrogen, which is much colder at temperatures of minus 200 degrees Fahrenheit or below, along with the dust commonly found with it. As stars form in the cooler gas, they alter their surrounding environment. The impact of the light from these young stars breaking up the dense clouds is visible in the form of numerous ridges throughout the image. The incandescent gas pillars are a testament to the widespread effects of this stellar erosion. Number 11. Magnetic Monster NGC 1275 This incredible image of NGC 1275 captures the reddish, lace-like filamentary formations that surround its luminous core region with remarkable clarity and resolution. Despite being surrounded by gas that is almost 55 million degrees Celsius hot, these filaments remain cool. They showcase how power from the black hole at the center is transferred to the surrounding gas and held in place by a magnetic field. For the first time, astronomers were able to estimate the strength of the magnetic field by observing the filamentary structure. Using this data, they showed that the structure of these filaments has been preserved over their 100 million year lifetime by the extragalactic magnetic fields, protecting them from collapse due to gravity forces or the violence of the surrounding cluster. Number 12. Infrared Image of NGC 1512 NGC 1512 is a barred spiral galaxy located in the constellation Horologium, approximately 38 million light years from Earth. This galaxy exhibits two concentric rings, with a nuclear ring surrounding the galactic center and an inner ring extending outward from the main disk. Within the galaxy's expansive UV disk, there are at least 200 clusters exhibiting active star formation within the last few million years. NGC 1512 belongs to the Dorado Group, a group of galaxies that includes several prominent members. Number 13. Open Cluster Hafner 18. Hafner 18 is a mature open cluster of stars that have already dispersed into their birth nebulae, representing the end result or recent past of the star formation process in the center region of the image. Within the cluster's bottom left corner, a newborn star can be seen breaking free from its nascent cocoon of gas, providing insight into the ongoing star formation process. Active star nurseries can also be seen to the right of the image. Hafner 18 is home to roughly 50 stars, some of which are very massive and short-lived. The big star FM 3060A is still encased in a thin, dense hydrogen shell. At its current pace of expansion, its diameter will grow to be about 2.5 light-years in the next few billion years. It was probably built around 40,000 years ago. The cluster is located at a distance of 26,000 to 35,000 light-years from Earth. Number 14. Blue Dwarf Galaxy, NGC 5253, a blue compact dwarf, BCD galaxy in the constellation Centaurus, is relatively nearby at a distance of about 12 million light-years. In general, BCD galaxies are marked by regions of intense star formation activity and a high density of dust, but they do contain some heavier elements, albeit in lower concentrations compared to galaxies like the Milky Way. These galaxies harbor molecular clouds that are chemically and physically identical to those that gave birth to the first stars in the early universe, before the accumulation of dust and heavy elements. The BCD galaxies have long been regarded as a prime location from which to investigate the genesis of the universe's first stars. Number 15. Snakes and Stones the James Webb Space Telescope has provided a new view of the galaxy merger formerly known as NGC 4194, revealing two distinct objects. In the past, a gas-rich system was consumed by a galaxy, resulting in the release of intense jets of dusty gas and stars. This event has been likened to the writhing snakes that the mythical figure Medusa wore on her head. These snakes can be seen extending from the top of the merging galaxy, while the central region of the galaxy is compared to Medusa's eye, which is the safest area to observe the collision. The accumulation of cool gas has sparked outbursts of star formation in this region, making it an eye-catching feature of the universe. Number 16. The Southern Ring Nebula this image of the Southern Ring Nebula, also known as NGC 3132, was taken by the James Webb Space Telescope's near-infrared camera and mid-infrared instrument for comparison. The north and east compass arrows are used to determine the image's orientation relative to the sky. 
Take note that the direction arrows on the ground are oriented counterclockwise with respect to the sky, as seen from below, as seen from above. As one year on Earth is equal to the speed of light, the ruler is marked in light years. In just about a quarter of a year, light will have traveled the length of the bar. The distance between two points on Earth measured in light years is 5, 884 trillion miles, 9, 464 trillion kilometers. A quarter of a light year is depicted here. Colors normally invisible at near and mid infrared wavelengths are depicted here. See which NERCAM and MIRI filters caught which colors of light using this handy color key. The infrared light transmitted by each filter is named for the visible light hue it most closely resembles. Number 17. A Pulsating Stellar Relic. This stunning image from the James Webb Space Telescope shows the planetary nebula NGC 2452 in the southern constellation Puppies. When a star like our sun runs out of fuel, all that's left is a blue haze across the entire screen. A star's atmosphere is blown away into space when the star's core becomes unstable and produces a flood of extremely high-energy particles. The remnants of the star that created this nebula can be found at the center of the blue cloud. At the center of the nebula lies a chilly, faint, and highly dense star, which is technically known as a pulsating white dwarf due to the gravitational waves that pulse throughout its small star's body. Number 18. Red Giant Blows a Bubble This stunning image captures a red giant star surrounded by a thin layer of gas. The star, known as U Camelopardalis or U Cam for short, is becoming increasingly unstable as it runs out of fuel. Over the course of a few thousand years, it emits a nearly spherical shell of gas as the helium around its core begins to fuse. The faint bubble of gas surrounding the star in this image indicates the location of the gas ejected during the most recent outburst. Despite its apparent proximity to the North Celestial Pole in the constellation Camelopardalis, the giraffe, UCAM is relatively small and can easily fit into a single pixel. However, its intensity is too great for the advanced camera to handle. And that's it for our journey through the wonders of space with the James Webb Space Telescope today. I hope you enjoyed learning about the different galaxies, nebulas, and stars that make up our universe. If you want to see more space adventures, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to click on the video on your screen for another exciting journey through space. Who knows what amazing sights we'll discover next. Thanks for watching.